Hey YouTube, what's it going? This is the help you need with uh, another 3ds Max video tutorial. And in this video, uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to finish up our uh, our turtle here. So, okay, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so we have our shell here, obviously. Ba -da Get our shell. Like this, alright. Now what we have to do is we have to create the, uh, like, bottom portion of the shell and all that. So it's going to be kind of fun. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to select this right here. This will select the whole, like, everything. This will just select everything. Uh, go ahead and first of all, bring this down. Because all this doesn't need to be here. Uh, i to that out. That's not supposed to be there anyway. Okay, so, like I said, just go ahead and bring that down. Um, every, well, everything but this right here. So we want to select this, but also deselect that. Alright, basically everything that you don't need is on this side here. So that stuff. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Um, so you should have something like this. And they only need to be down about that far. And then we can come into this viewport. Do some scaling in, obviously. It's kind of like this. Kind of like this. Alright. Okay, I can bring this up right here. I'm just going to lift that. We're just going to lift all of these, actually, like this. So we want all of this to kind of be on the outside here. fine just like that and uh, now we can go ahead and select this loop it all right and we're gonna pull it down all right and we're going to move it over this way okay we're gonna kind of straighten it out not like extremely straight or anything all right then we're gonna extrude or hold shift one more time and pull it over make this completely straight now. So like that. I just move it over. Go ahead and select this. Move it over. And now you should have something similar to this. Alright. And now the head of our turtle is going to come off on and off of this part right here. But we also have to do loop this. Just gotta loop that, scale it in, and we're gonna move it up again. Actually, right there is fine. So you can see that the shell ends there. All right, and now we're going to select this and this right here. We'll go ahead and inset. So we should have something like this. Okay. It's going to be the place where the head comes out. Um, so we got to move some of this around a little bit. Go ahead and just select all of these. So like that. Go ahead and take this off really quick. So we really have to work with this for right, to do. I'm just gonna move these over. Uh, straighten them all out. Just grab all these. Do the same. Da -da 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 -da. Straight it. Go ahead and move it. Just like so. And grab these. 
these, move it down, this, move it down, down, actually take this one and move it out a little bit, along with that one's moved out, down, that out, and two, go ahead and rig this, connect it, alright, and now we're going to move these this way, and up. Okay, let's check that out. There we go. And all we're going to do is extrude in. Like so. Then you can even delete those out because we don't really need them anymore. Uh, I'm just going to do this and pull it down and delete. Alright. See, because we don't need this anymore because that's just going to be where our necks can go into the shell. Uh, we have basically the body roughed out here. Um, we can do the same thing for all the things underneath, for the legs and all that. But we're not going to. I'll show you what we'll do with that in a little bit. Um, so the next thing we have to do is we just got to box out a head really quick. So let's come up here and make a box. Okay, bring it this way. And bring it out. Bring it down. Bring it in. There we go. That's going to be our rough, rough kind of head for now. Alright, <coughs> and uh, go ahead and add the regular material to this. And convert it to an editable poly, so go ahead and right click. Convert to editable poly, oops. Alright, now connect a couple edges here, so connect, and yeah, we'll do about four, and yeah, we'll do three, three there, and connect, we'll do two here, and that should be good, we'll also do two here, so just connect it, she should have all these over here, then three here, alright, now we're just going to move her out to vertices, just to kind of get the face facial structure out correctly alright because this also has to be the neck later so we want all the outside vertices to be on the outside of the head and then we'll move around some verts to make them the inside as you can see I'm just kind of tracing the outline of uh, the turtle's head uh, so that's what you're going to see here just a tiny bit, uh, probably about there. Okay, and let's see, these all need to be right around this area, so let's go ahead and move this up. I can take this here. Alright, there we go. So we have the basic structure of the head of the turtle here. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the inside six, they'll be on both sides, and go ahead and just pull those out some just like that and also space them out like that and these we're just going to grab these and kind of do the same thing because we want a sphere kind of look to it so round it out there we go so we should have something looking similar to this but the head's just a little bit large so we're going to go ahead and scale it down it's probably about the right size for it. Now we add a mesh smooth modifier. This is our rough kind of head for the turtle right now. So we got our quick turtle head and we got our turtle shell. Let's go ahead and make the neck out of the turtle now. That'll be nice. So extrude this here. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now we're going to rotate. Up. All right, and we just extrude. Okay, and let's see. We'll just attach all this later. All right, move it in like 
that. Go ahead and pull that over. There we go. So there's our quick look at turtle so far. All right, we got a little bit to do here still. Um, we're gonna finish up the shell with the legs, 